So in this one, we're going to use the Archi Mesh add-on to add some windows at the end here. Okay, so let's get started. So to begin this one, I'm going to press 7 and come into top view. Okay, I'm going to press Z and bring up wireframe. And what I might do is just switch off the ground floor and switch back on the ground floor plan. I'm going to select this section here and tab into edit mode. I'm going to press A once or twice to make sure everything is deselected. I'm just going to zoom in over here. And if I press B for box select, I can box select this section here. Press Shift S and cursor to select it. Okay, so now I'm just going to tab back to object mode. And again, like before, I'm going to switch off the ground floor plan. I'm going to switch off the ground floor doors. And the only layer that's switched on is going to be the ground floor window. So if I come up to create, I'm going to come down here to Archi Mesh. If you don't have this enabled, just make sure you come up here to File, User Preferences, in Add-ons. It's this one here, it's Archi Mesh. It's just above the Archi Pack add-on. So just enable this by putting in the check mark and save your user settings. Okay, so I'm gonna close that down. Now for this, I'm gonna choose a panel window. And over here on the settings, I'm gonna switch this from window to a door, and it's gonna be a door 80 by 230. Okay, so I can press and hold the middle mouse button just to come around here. And I'm gonna press Z, come back to solid. And you can see then we get a double height window. I'm going to reduce the vertical count to one. I'm going to increase the horizontal count to three. And I'm going to uncheck these two guys here. Okay, so if I press one, I can come back to my layers and I'm going to switch on the front elevation because we had some detail for these windows. I'm going to press Z and bring up wireframe. And I can increase the height then to match my layout. Zoom in, that looks pretty good. Okay, I need to increase these, so I think if I type in maybe 116 into the three of these. Okay, that's a little bit too long. Come back to maybe 110. I'm gonna select this section now and just drag it forward. I'm gonna actually bring this out to the corner. I'm not gonna to be too worried about the structure for the moment. So maybe just even this up here and select this frame again. And increase all of these to 115, maybe 116. You can zoom in, maybe 117. Okay. That looks a little bit too long, so we'll we'll go for about 116, 116, and 116. Okay, so I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button to come around here. And I'm going to switch off the front elevation. Press Z and come back to solid. I'm actually going to switch on the ground floor. So what we need to do is subtract these windows from this wall. I'm going to select the wall, and if I come over to the modifiers tab, I'm just going to minimize these modifiers that are on them already. I'm going to add a modifier. It's going to be a boolean. Actually, if I press Z for wireframe and I select this rectangular object, the empty object around the window, I can come up to my outliner, press the period key and just get the name of it. And in this case, it's called CTRL underscore hole. OK, so that's the object we need to subtract from the wall. So I'm going to select the wall again. And in the operation of the boolean modifier, I'm going to switch this to difference and for the object, I'm just going to type in CTRL and select the control hole. Okay, so if I press Z and solid, it has worked except our object is not wide enough. So what I need to do is again press Z. I'm going to select that object. Press Z again, come back to solid. I'm going to press S and Y and scale it on the Y. And you can see it's coming out there. Left click. So I'm going to press Z and select that control object, press, come back to solid. I'm gonna press control A and apply the rotation and scale of that. Okay, and that will subtract from the wall. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now the other thing I wanna do is, you can see here it's not fully out this direction. So I'm gonna select it, tab into edit mode. I'm gonna select the four verts on the end here. And just drag these forward. And now if I tab back to object mode, that subtracts right the way along there. Okay, that looks pretty good. The next thing we want to do then is add a window for the full length of this. So I'm gonna turn off the ground floor. I'm gonna switch back on the ground floor plan, press seven. Okay, I can select it and tab into edit mode. I'm gonna press A to deselect. I'm gonna press B and box select all of this stuff. Shift S and cursor to select it. If I tab back now to object mode, I can switch off the ground floor plan and come up to create. Again, I'm gonna choose panel window. 
and over here then I can switch this to a door 80 by 230 and come back around here and let's take a look at this similar to this one I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce the horizontal count to one and I'm gonna try and match the height so if I select this object I can see it's 218 so I'm gonna select back on this again increase this to 218 okay so for the horizontal I'm gonna increase this to five and you see we get our widths here we need to actually drag this out a little bit so I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna make this 186 press enter and what I might do is check this guy here. So we have three inserts on this and I need to rotate this now. So I'm gonna press R, Z, negative nine, zero, press enter. I'm gonna select this object and we need to just drag this forward slightly. So I'm gonna press G and X. And actually this needs to be a slightly longer. So I'm gonna click back on it. And what's gonna happen is that's gonna rotate back to where it was. So I'm just gonna increase this to maybe 187 and press R, Z, minus nine zero again okay and that's going to be close enough for me looks pretty good we could select this object press seven just make sure it's flush there press g and x again and just drag that out to line it up okay that looks pretty good okay the other thing we need to do then is the boolean modifier again so i'm going to come back to layers switch back on my ground floor okay and this time i'm going to select this object again I'm going to scale it in the X, so S and X. And I can also drag it back to center it on this wall. And S and X again, and just center it up. Okay, so if I come to the outliner and press the period key, it's called control hole underscore one. So what I can do is select the wall. It's going to minimize this Boolean and add a new one. Set this to difference and actually if I just select this again, we need to apply that rotation and scale. So with that, control A, rotation and scale. Okay, so I can click back on the wall now and choose this CTRL underscore hole 001. Okay, and that sets my difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the final window on the far side and repeat the process, okay. Okay, so with that, exactly the same process, just add in the window and match the sizes that are on this window over here. So a 116 by 218, match them on this and modify the control hole and subtract it from the wall. And that's the windows in position. Okay, and that's going to do it for this one.